It's a spooky time of year, exam time. But don't be afraid, because we're here to help. Welcome to Exam Horror Stories. <laughs> It was the night before my exam. I was tossing and turning, my head filled with terrifying dreams. I hadn't set my alarm and I woke up late. I went running for the bus, just in time to see it pulling away from the stop. When's the next bus, I asked. Not for an hour, they said. I finally got there. But where was the exam? All I could see were endless corridors. My heart was racing. I reached for my bag, but it wasn't there. I didn't have my student card or my approved calculator. Finally, I found the exam and sat down to look at the paper. It was gibberish. I'd been studying the wrong topic. My heart beat like crazy. My mouth went dry. I could feel my throat closing up. Panic, despair. This was the end. There was nowhere to run. And then I woke up and I realized that I was prepared and that it would all be okay. So don't make your exams your worst nightmare. Prepare for everything that could possibly go wrong. If you think that you have to write in a difficult and abstract manner to sound academic, you're probably using what Helen Sword has called zombie nouns. These are adjectives, verbs, or other parts of speech turned into abstract nouns, such as proliferation or delineation. If you use too many of these, you'll soon notice your writing starts to sound lifeless and dead, as the zombie nouns infect everything around them. So in your exams, just write normally. Stay away from too many zombie nouns. You want your writing to sound alive, not brain dead. You leave your study to the last minute. You've pulled all-nighters before and done okay. Staring at the screen, your eyes slowly start turning red. You don't take breaks. You don't have time for that. You eat lollies to keep your energy up. Your teeth ache. Your hair is matted and your hands have started to shake. You haven't slept for days. You drink coffee after coffee trying to keep going. But your brain is hurting. You're not taking in what you read. You feel as though you're in a haze. Why didn't I start earlier? Chapter 4, Chapter 5. What was Chapter 5 about? I don't remember anything. What's wrong with me? But by then, it's too late. You've succumbed to the cramming. Don't let it happen to you. 